Hello guys, today we are going uh, to set up uh, Google Pay, Netflix and uh, other applications on rooted form. Uh, these applications uh, will tell you that you have a rooted form and because of that uh, they don't uh, want to work. So we're going to bypass this. First thing you need to do is download files which are linked uh, below in the video description. Download these files. Here you have uh, them named in the sequence that we need these files. Okay, we are going to install uh, Magisk first, Magisk application. Then we have to install Google Pay. You can uh, download and install it from uh, Google Play Store. This will be same application. I'm doing this only to speed up uh, setup process. Okay, also we will uh, set up right away this application, YasMac. Yes, Install and uh, what we need to do first, and this, uh, this is we need to connect phone to Wi Fi or uh, mobile internet. You should have internet on your phone. Okay, you will open Magisk, and uh, Magisk can ask you about uh, additional uh, installation. This will uh, pop up here if uh, phone you if phone is asking you for additional installation, you should press OK and wait to phone uh, to reboot. First thing you need to do is uh, to check Magisk version. Which version do you have? 24 should be here and uh, 24 should be here. If you have lower uh, version, what you need to do is to press update here. This uh, update button will appear only if you uh, have uh, connected internet. Okay, press update. Allow installation uh, from my disk application. Install the update. Okay, my disk updated. Next thing you need to do, if you have uh, below 24 version here, you need to update your uh, MyDisk version. Press uh, direct install, press let's go, wait until it finished and press reboot. Wait until phone is booted. Okay, our phone is booted up after MyDisk update. We need to open this application again. First thing we're going to do is go to settings in MyDisk and disable check updates button because these updates will cause you trouble later if you will agree to update. Okay, uh, next thing we need to do is to enable Zygisk and enf enforce deny list. Next thing we're going to do is configure deny list. We need to uh, press this button, show system apps and show OS apps and uh, press search. Uh, put in search play. Okay, press on to Google Play services and press uh, this button. So all, uh, all these uh, buttons will press itself after your button, this one. So you, you should first open up this list and then press, press the button. Okay, next thing we need to do is to put in search pay, Google Pay. Also open up, check if it have list under it. It does not, but we need to make sure. Next thing we need is Netflix. Uh, do it uh, for any application that uh, is uh, denying you access because of super user rights. So if you have some banking application or uh, finance or uh, video streaming service, uh, so search it in this list and uh, push the button for this application. 
Okay, next uh, thing we need to do is go to module, modules and install module which we downloaded before. Okay, module is installed. Uh, next thing we need to do is uh, to check if we have uh, data for Google Pay. Sometimes if you open up uh, Google Pay before you uh, hide ma Magisk. Also, you need to go to settings and uh, press uh, hide Magisk app. Press OK and wait uh, until it reinstall and uh, rename itself. Do not add shortcut, you don't need it. You can see that uh, we had uh, Magisk application and now we have settings application. Now you need to check if you have uh, data for your applications which uh, don't want uh, super user rights on your phone. So if you opened up Google Pay before and you had error message about super user rights, you go to these settings, press and hold, go to info, uh, press force stop if you have uh, this button enabled and uh, go to storage, storage and press clear data. Okay, uh, then uh, we, we are all set. If you have uh, other applications which need same treatment, so you go to info, force stop, uh, storage and clear data. Okay, we are all set up. We need to reboot the phone and start using those applications. Last thing we need to do after phone reboot is to check if we uh, have done all correctly. For this we have uh, our application which named is Yasnak. I will show you after phone is booted. Okay, now now uh, our phone is booted and we need to check if we uh, have done it properly. Open this application, Yasnak and press run safety net attestation. Okay, if you are seeing here pass and pass, then it's okay. Everything will work. You can go to Google Pay and enable your payment, add your cards and uh, use uh, it as normal phone. Same uh, Netflix you can use and everything. If you have uh, here uh, fail on uh, any of those two uh, checks. So you need to go uh, to this process again, check uh, video carefully, find your mistake and fix it. This is all you need for today. Thank you for your attention. If you have questions, please post it in the comment section. Uh, goodbye.